flute are great for the look of it, for cocktail parties. They certainly look great because you can see all the bubbles uh, coming up. So these types of flutes, and that's actually a really pretty good type of flute, but flutes don't really allow, and see, I'm trying to swirl the wine here and just doesn't really work. What is up guys, I'm Julian, the French wine making guy who makes wine videos here on YouTube, yes, wine videos. So this is going to be a short video to let you know about what have become probably now one of my very most favorite wine glasses. So those wine glasses have been developed by Jancis Robinson or in collaboration with Jancis Robinson herself by Richard Brandon who is a UK craftsman known for making top quality bone chinas and whiskey glasses and he approached Jancis Robinson to develop with her with her advice her expertise in wine the perfect wine glasses. They've come up with one single size and shape that fits all wines rather than having hundreds of different sizes and different types of glasses like some manufacturers have like Riedel in particular which has types of glasses for Cabernet Sauvignons, for Chardonnays, for Burgundies, for Bordeaux, for Champagne, you name them. One single size fits them all. The idea here is that some red wines can be very powerful and some white wines can also be very powerful especially the old ones while some red ones can be really really refined so this is kind of the compromise the in-between uh, I supposedly perfect size for tasting all types of wines including yes the sparkling wines and we'll get back to this in a minute so what are the qualities of this wine glass and why do I like it so much well first of all it's not too big you know sometimes too big a glass can be a little bit overwhelming it can overwhelm the wines as well if the wines aren't powerful enough well you can't smell them all that well and it's not very small or tiny as well like some especially some white wine glasses i like my glass to be relatively wide and open at the top so the wine can have a decent surface of contact so the aromas can evaporate a wine glass needs to shut the opening a bit at the top so it concentrates the aromas but it also needs to be wide enough at the top so you can actually smell it rather well and the aromas can still come out of the glass so the shape <coughs> of this bowl is yeah it's just you know uh, hard to fold it's nearly nearly perfect what's also fantastic is the thinness of the glass of this bowl when you put the wine in the glass on your lips the glass is so thin you completely forget about it when the glass is thick you're sort of bothered and you're sort of like oh i don't really enjoy the feeling of that glass on my lips but here you completely forget about it this is probably one of the thinnest bowl of, of a wine glass that i've felt so you forget completely forget about the glass and you can focus and only think about the wine which is one great thing what i also love is that the base and it's probably hard to see here but the base of this wine glass is pretty large and pretty big and solid compared to the size of the glass and it's pretty thick and pretty heavy which makes the glass really stable the stem is extremely thin as well so it feels very sophisticated and very I don't know very elegant uh, to taste and when you're swirling the glass it they've made it deliberately quite high as well so even people like me that have fairly big hands can use it uh, rather well so essentially the proportions of these glass make it feel extremely yeah you completely forget about the glass except when you smell when you get to smell and taste the wine it reminds you that with the precision of the aromas that it delivers it reminds you that the shape is actually extremely extremely well thought my only problem with this wine and i guess that's a little bit of feedback for for the developers of this glass the thinness of this stem while it looks fantastic and it feels great and makes it pretty pretty fragile i had two glasses of these so i've been using them for a couple of months i'm loving them uh, but one of them broke with just handling it um, at home uh, just because the stem uh, broke without giving it much effort really if you don't mind being very very careful they are the perfect type of wine glasses but if you are a little bit worried about manipulating glasses and breaking wine glasses 
and those are a little bit fragile but overall if you are running some expert wine tasting wine schools at a pretty high sophisticated glamorous uh, level those glasses feel and absolutely absolutely fantastic and uh, yeah i'm very much enjoying those um, yeah so just wanted to share that with you one last quick thing when I was editing this video, I decided to cut it in two different parts. Uh, there's another two or three minutes in this video where I explain why you should use a normal wine glass rather than a flute for tasting sparkling wine. I decided to put that in another video. Uh, so just to keep that Chances Robinson video very short and neat and tiny and just about those glasses. But I would definitely recommend you go and watch those two or three minutes about why you should definitely use a normal wine glass rather than a flute uh, for tasting your sparkling wine so I'll go and watch that video right now it's uh, quite interesting as well it's very short yes it is a lockdown time here in France so we're locked down because of the virus thing um, but yeah never mind hope you enjoyed the video uh, give it a quick thumb up share it if you loved it and uh, if you liked it even um, that's probably good enough and I will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine my glass is empty but uh, yeah I'll go and fill it up right now cheers